Hey there, today I will be showing you how to make a dandelion and you will need a, a ultra fine Sharpie marker for this one because the details are a little bit more fine. So let's get started. We're gonna start out with a circle, kind of in the middle of your paper, maybe a little bit more towards the top. From that circle, you're going to make a straight line down. Now I'm probably going to go out of your view range, but on your paper, just make it as straight as you can and then add another straight line right next to it. And, that, and you'll want that to be long because dandelion stems are pretty long. Now what you'll want to do is you will want to make a straight line coming down from probably about three inches up right into your circle and then you'll want to come out about three inches about the same amount and come out the other side about three inches. Now what we'll want to do is find the halfway point between these two and come out the same amount, the same distance and then again the same distance between these two lines and the same distance and the same distance. It doesn't have to be exact, of course. Now, between each of these lines, we're going to make a shorter line. So basically, a lot of this is a series of lines coming out. The, the effect is really cool, though. So we just keep going with our shorter lines coming out from the center just like that. Now we're going to put the little detail, the little umbrella things at the top. So what you're going to do for that is you're going to make the letter U. Whoops, forgot that one. The letter U on the top of each one, each little line. And if I get going too fast for you, remember you can just pause this video and then start it up when you're ready. So each one of those goes slowly and carefully so you do your best job. Okay, now inside of each one of those, then you're going to wanna to put a curved line and a curved line. Curved line and a curved line. So actually there'll be four little ends to each one of these little umbrella, I guess they're seed pods, just like that. Just keep going, make sure you get every one. Even very young kids can do this project. I've done this with four and five year olds. You know what you can even do? There's probably a seed pod under here so you can do that as well maybe even this. All right, now at the top of each one of these lines, we're gonna put a little dot, a little black dot at the top of each one. This takes some time, but it's worth the effort because the effect is really neat. Just keep going until you have all those dots filled in. This one you don't really even have to color. It looks cool just as it is. If you'd like to add more lines for a little bit more detail, that would be a good idea too. So there you go, there's your dandelion. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.